Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My beloved ones today, the 12th day of June, being Saturday, the mother Jesus celebrates the mark heart of Blessed Virgin Mary. Our readings will be coming from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 14 to 21. Our response sound will come from Psalm 103, verse 8a. A gospel message will come from Luke Gospel chapter 2, verse 41 to 51. The theme of the message today is the Immaculate Heart of Blessed Virgin Mary. I celebrated the Immaculate Heart of Blessed Virgin Mary. A heart full of love and caring. And that way today you can see in the gospel message every year, Jesus, Joseph, and Mary have to go to Jerusalem on pilgrimage. And when Jesus was 12, he went with the parents. And when the, the celebration was over, they started going home. Jesus decided to stay back without the parents' knowledge. And when the carnival was going back, they were taught he had joined other people down. When they got home, they couldn't find him. They began to search for him among the neighbors. And they couldn't find him. For three days, they were searching for him. And behold, they went back to Jerusalem to look for him when they couldn't find him in the neighborhood. When they got to Jerusalem, they came to the temple. Surprisingly, they saw him in the temple with the doctors of the church, listening to them, asking them questions. And the person who had him was astounded by what intelligence this boy is radiating. And the mother said, Son, what is this you have done to us? Your father and I have been searching for you these days. He said, why are you searching for me? Why are you looking for me? Don't you now be supposed to be doing my father's work? Compassionate mother, I didn't even say much. Jesus have to leave and follow them back and stay under them for another 18 years before he back on his ministry. A caring mother. A tender mother. A immaculate heart of blessed Virgin Mary. What the tenderness will be to search for this on this side. With the tenderness which is said, son, why have you done this to us? It's not a woman of many words. My clear heart of Mary. This heart of Mary, we're told that what Paul is trying to radiate in the second Corinthians, he said, look, the love of Christ urges us on. It's the love of Christ that urges the immigrant heart of Blessed Virgin Mary to go on. A mother of sorrow. When I will never know joy all the days of our life. From one sorrow to another one. And Paul said, is this love that urges us on? Because we are convinced that one man has died for all. All would have died. He died for all, that all who live now will no more live for themselves, but for him who died for your sake and was raised up. So Christ died for all of us, that we're supposed to be living now for, for him alone. Because he died for our sake and was raised up. So you know the type of union which are supposed to be between us and Christ. He paid the price in our hands, which is death. To give us life. And we're supposed to live for him alone. Such a love is what God demands from all of us. And he said, from now on, on, on well, we don't want to regard any person on the flesh anymore. We don't want to look on any person as a flesh. We have been paid for. We are now for Christ. We can't want to regard any person on the flesh. We will, remember we once regarded Christ on the flesh, but no more. He said, once in Christ, we become a new creation. The old self disappears. Once you're in the son of the Michael, Michael Virgin Mary, you become a new creation. 
the old self goes, the new life comes. He said, Paul going to tell us what God has intention for all of us. All this thing is done by God who is reconciling the world through his own son. And the Christ reconciled us with the Father, the world to the Father. And he said, God has reconciled all of, to, all of us to himself and through Christ we are now called to be ambassadors of Christ in reconciling people to God. Not only we. We are now ambassadors of Christ trying to reconcile people to God. We are now begging people, please, be reconciled with God. Our ministry trusted to all our hands now. Calling people to repentance, to be reconciled with God. Have life. Have abundance and blessings. We're ambassadors of this ministry. God is making appeal to us. And we're begging people to come back and reconcile with God. For our sake, he was a person who did sin, become a sinner. So that we might become righteous. Righteousness of God. He made his own a sinful best to bring us righteousness. Paul is making us to understand. And this God is so compassionate that he's doing this through his own son. He died for all of us. He's reconciling the world through him. And he's urging us to reconcile, be reconciled with God. And now why the church set apart after celebrating the sacred heart of Jesus, we celebrate the sacred heart of Mary. And now why the psalmist who understood this so well today, they say, the Lord is compassionate and gracious. Lord is compassionate and gracious. That's why he set aside this woman to be the mother of his only son. And he has to be holy to be a holy mother of God. God who decided to set her apart for this purpose. That will be the mother of his own son. Set her apart and kept her immaculate to be able to born an immaculate son. And that's the song we are celebrating today. We celebrate the mother who urges us all to love. May God help us today. I will celebrate as a blessed mother to intercede for all of us so that we share his only son and he will be our own mother and guide us as he guided his only son so we can attain the purpose and be reconciled with God and let the love of God urge us in this life and we attain the purpose of our being and come to be in fullness of God. We ask through Christ our Lord. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us. I will celebrate the market heart of Blessed Virgin Mary, and of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all.